Oh boy, that snapped up on me quickly. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, here we go. Just getting myself settled. My table's not at the right height. Anyway, hello. Boy. Okay. So, hi, hello. My camera's all not in the right spot. Can I do a quick move here? Ah, oh, it worked. Okay, this is exciting. Hi, everybody. I haven't been live in a... Oh, no, I was live last week. We had a good time. Um, maybe the week before. Anyway, hi, hello. I want to talk about Black Friday. I'm Heather, <laughs> the owner and creator of this little yarn brand called UU Yarns. And welcome to my home studio where I do my YouTube lives and lots of... Um, I don't know. I <laughs> I ship yarn to stores. I design patterns. Lots of fun little stuff goes on here in this crazy room. <laughs> so I'd love for you to say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I am in Southern California near San Diego. It's beautiful, slightly sunny, 68 degrees today. But I did wear a sweater that I'm going to talk about. Oh, hi, Marley. Hi, Joan. Nice to see both of you. Marley is another Southern Californian, and Joan is from Texas. How nice. Oh, Maritza. Hola. Hi, from rainy, cold Colorado. Hi, Ros Rosalind. Very nice. Yeah, we had rain yesterday. They said we were going to get like an eighth of an inch or something. Uh, it was like a half an inch in thunderstorms. <laughs> and, we, you know, we don't get many thunderstorms out here so it was like a whole like everybody my knit night was on wednesday nights and a ton of people didn't, didn't even come <laughs> we just don't get rainy weather out here <clears throat> hello from the east coast maryland hi kareen i grew up in pennsylvania just uh about an hour north of maryland i guess Judy, hi from Northern California. Nice to see you today. That is great. Okay, so I thought we could talk about, um, you know, Black Friday. It's coming up and we love to do a good yarn sale here at UU across the Black Friday weekend. So I thought it would be a good time for me to come on and let you know what the sale is going to be and about some new things that are going to be arriving by then. <laughs> it's just a week away. It seems closer, doesn't it? But I still have a whole week before. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it's going to be here faster than I know it, don't you think? Like, are you, have you already bought your food and your turkey and everything? I would love to hear what you're going to cook. Here we like to do... Um, uh, we like to cook a duck instead of a turkey. And then my husband grew up in England, so he likes um, parsnips and roast potatoes. And then I usually go crazy and I love to make a bunch of desserts. Like I love a big homemade apple pie from scratch. And sometimes I'll make a chocolate mousse or a pumpkin pie. <laughs> I don't have anything green on my list yet. I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Brussels sprouts or green beans? Oh, hi, Jacqueline from not so sunny Florida. That doesn't seem to happen very often. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's get back to the yarn. So as you know, we have our lovely yarns and all of our yarns and patterns are going to be 20% off for Black Friday. Um, so if you are looking to make any projects, uh, or especially like larger projects, uh, I think now is the time to start planning those and asking questions. Like if you have a color combination idea, it would be good to, you know, send us an email or actually I just dropped in the community, I just dropped a post in Club UU asking about 
I'm going to get the link. That's why I'm paused. And I dropped a link here or a question here. So if you have any ideas and, you know, looking at patterns that maybe you uh, need to know, like yardage requirements or um, color combinations or, you know, should I use the sport weight or the fingering weight? Now is the time to start asking those questions because come the holiday weekend, like I want to relax with my, you know, food. <laughs> no, I want to relax over the weekend. So I won't be checking email as much. So that's why I thought if I come on today, we can all start thinking about what you're going to make and what you want to get and what what you could do because then once the sale hits you will be ready to go and that is the best way to do it oh kareen oh marley okay eastern tennessee beautiful today hi Anne. nice to see you kareen i just need to bake a pumpkin pie and the stuffing oh i didn't think about stuffing we are going to friends right outside of gettysburg our children are going to their in-laws perfect that sounds nice. Gettysburg is beautiful, especially, well, yeah, I was going to say this time of year, but all the leaves are probably, probably on about now. Um, so anyway, all the UU yarns and patterns are going to be on sale for 20% off. And that got me thinking that, you know, Maybe it's time to come on and take a look and just see if anybody has any questions. And then actually the big news here is next week I am releasing a new pattern. So this is called the Pop Your Color Cardigan. It was a pattern I designed about 10 years ago. This cute little sweater. You can see the little color accents on the collar and the cuff, and then this easy uh, raglan increasing with the yarn overs. And this sweet sweater, like I said, <laughs> is 10 years old. <laughs> I mean, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? I, I wore it a lot. Um, and I originally designed it in five sizes. <laughs> So now, after all these years, we have completely revamped it. So it is now, whoa, girl, I'm getting a little showy over here. Um, it is now going to be available in 11 sizes, and we have so many more color options. So this one, oh, I haven't finished my ends yet. <laughs> <clears throat> So this one you can see is using the Heather's Heather's in saffron and the regular Woolly Worsted accent in the regular saffron. So it's a pretty combo and you can still see it has that fun um, eyelet raglan. It's a cute little sweater. I have the buttons, they're over here. I just have to put them on. Like I said, still weaving those ends in. <laughs> But I thought I would do these fun little coconut buttons. Oh, you can barely see it. Anyway, they're all unique. Here we are. So just sweet little coconut buttons that I will put on. So just, I don't know, kind of keep, keep that mottled heathered tone going on this sweater but you can see it's a really nice like light texture on that and it's still that same nice UU merino that is going to hold up and still look great 10 years later <laughs> but the other exciting thing is we've designed a sister pattern maybe you noticed that I'm wearing <laughs> the same thing but in a pullover so here is the pop your color pullover so this one we knit in the um, Heather's Heather's in Cotton Candy. Let's see, that's this yarn. 
Ooh, see all the pretty texture that happens in there? So that color coordinates with the woolly worsted in regular cotton candy. There you go. So believe it or not, <laughs> those are the same base. So this heathered version has 10% silver and 10% charcoal spun through with 80% of this cotton candy color. It's hard to see on the screen, but it does have a really subtle pink tone. And so that's why I did this version. So you could see the saffron Heathers Heathers with the original saffron. Let's see. My little bag of tricks over here. Okay, here's my combo. <clears throat> so the Heathers Heathers in the saffron here with its woolly worsted mate. And that is the same thing. This Heathers Heather has um, 10% silver and 10% charcoal. And then this is just, and then 80% of this main color. And it just tones it back so much. Isn't that so cool how much it changes? Take that label away. But yeah, so that is the pop on the cardigan. And then here on this sweater, we did that cotton candy uh, as the main color. And then we used the Heathers Heathers in black licorice. There, look at all that texture. That is what we used for this accent on this sweater. So super like sweatshirty, super cozy, totally loving it. But anyway, so this sweater drops like uh, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. <laughs> like I said, I feel like every day is like <laughs> rushing by. But anyway, the sweaters are coming and I wanted you to be the first to see them and get the lowdown on what the sale is gonna be. So these suckers are starting out at 20% off. And then the next great thing is we're going to have a knit along for it come the new year. So no matter which one you get, if you wanna do the pullover or the cardigan, it's called the pop your color pullover and the pop your color cardigan. And they're both really fun to knit. I made the cardigan now twice. So I, in the knit along, I will be making the um, pullover, which I am super excited about. And I thought that if we plan it now for Black Friday, you can pick your colors and get your ideas and then get your yarn on the sale. And then we have time to ship it and you can gather your supplies and then we can kick off for the big new year knit along. So that is the big plan. And that is what's coming up here at UU. I have been so excited and I've been working really hard to <laughs> get these new patterns out into the world. And I'm very excited. It, like the big new year knit along is kind of like my new thing. Like, we have the pop your color this year, but we already are planning and have samples going for next year's big new year knit along. So it's going to be a thing. It's going to be big. So I thought it would be super fun to come on here and tell you about it early so you can get your ideas. And then when the pattern drops next week, you can, we can start talking about colors. It uses, you know, like, You'll need a quantity for the main body, but you only ever need one ball for the pop. So you can really start asking questions now and figuring out your colors. So that's why I thought it'd be fun to come on now. Oh my gosh, we have some questions. Oh, Karen Bochinski, nice to see you, Karen. Does the sale begin on Black Friday? I try to put it in my cart, but the next day items, they're gone. Do you have a wish list? Oh, I don't. That is something I could consider adding i i i have not um i've not explored that yet because not many people have asked so i can take a look at that um the sale will actually start 
on Thursday. I usually turn it on on Thursday. Um, but then I don't really mail out until um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It goes through Monday. Okay. Rosalind, love both of these. Well, thank you very much. We have worked very hard on these sweaters. Um, Trish, lovely pattern. Thank you. Judy, the patterns are out. They are not out just yet. Uh, I need to get the photographs. Literally <laughs> took this sucker off the needles yesterday. You can see, <laughs> like, I am almost there. <laughs> but I'm, I think I'm getting photographs tomorrow. So I got to get these buttons on today and get <laughs> get these ends finished up. So that is what I am doing. Oh, and I am restacking my yarn stores because they are also <laughs> emailing me. Um, okay, Trish, what about using your sport or fingering weight for this sweater? Um, this one is, I we, we could, um, Fingering would be a little hard because you'd probably have to double it if you want to get this gauge. But sport, if you adjust your needle size, you could, if you swatch it, you could probably work something up. Um, so it would be a lighter weight fabric, but you'd have to like figure out your needle size and your gauge and then what size you're going to make based on those numbers. So we could figure it out, but, um, you know, we designed it for the worsted for right now. Uh, Judy, how much yarns for a size 42 or 44? Um, let's see. So that's about what I'm wearing. Maybe I'm wearing one size larger. I'm wearing the size four. Ah, can you show shades of purple that will work together? Yes, Lisa, I will be happy to. Uh, let's see. So let me pull up that pattern really fast. So the 42 or 44 would be either, yes, I was right. So the 42 would be a size smaller and the 45 inch is what I am wearing. Uh, okay. And that would be either 12 or 13 skeins of your main color. And then, like I said, um, one ball of your contrasting color, your pop. <clears throat> Let me go back over here. Oh, so anyway, if you want to talk about purples, Lisa. So there's some fun shades of purple. We do have the Iris Blossom, which is the most purple purple that we have. And then that was the Lavender. These are both in the Woolly Worsted. The Lavender is looking a little silvery here, but it is a nice shade of Lavender. Look, my nails match. Boy, it's going well today. <laughs> um, and then we also have a beautiful Indigo, which... Here it is. Whoa, the skein is a little, little out of control here. So this is indigo, which is like, um, you know, if you think about Roy G. Biv, the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So indigo kind of falls in between blue and purple. So that is our dark purple color, which looks great. It would Re be a really pretty accent. And then the purple colors in the heathers, if you'd like to look, the berry comes out really awesome as a kind of a purple hue. Um, and you know what other color really leans a little purple when you put it with other purples is the red velvet. Let me find that for you. <clears throat> oh, here it is. So it is kind of a bricky red. Look at all that dog hair. Sorry, everybody. My crazy dogs. But it really sits well in this family of the reds and purples. 
Like, look at, oh yeah. Oh, hello, I am into this. Sorry, it's so messy. <laughs> it's a really good fun. Oh boy, we got a bunch more comments. <clears throat> oh, Karen, I will be purchasing your Anita for my stash on Thanksgiving. Thank you, Karen. Judy says, thanks. Oh, what colors am I wearing again? I love that berry. Okay. I am wearing the Heather's Heather's in cotton candy. So it's this, the Heather's Heather's, which is worsted. It is a wor it's our it's just like our woolly worsted. Uh just it has that <clears throat> extra modeled color scheme. So you can see, ah, there, next to that, look how pink that looks. <laughs> that is quite a pretty combo. So this is the cotton candy, which is what I'm wearing. Yeah, you can really see the camera's really picking up the pink then when I hold it next to the, this is the vanilla, which is our regular vanilla and our cotton candy. So yeah, look at how that changes. So fun and pretty. Love that berry. That was fun. Good. Thank you, Marley. Oh, Marley. Marley loves blue. Let's see. So we ha we do have the Heather's Heather's in Sapphire, which this thing is so pretty. One of my favorites. Let me get the regular Sapphire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that? No, this might be midnight. Well, there you go. That's the midnight blue, but that is the heathered sapphire with it. That is super pretty. Whoa. That with the pop of the midnight, that is, I didn't see that. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> or with the sky. Oh yeah. Ooh, I like the sapphire with the sky. <laughs> Marley's giving me hard eyes. I knew you'd be into this one, Marley. <coughs> I don't know where my my regular sapphire skein got to. <laughs> this bag, this, uh... oh, here it is. Okay, here we are. Now I can show you. So yes, here's the Heather's Heather's in Sapphire, but here's the regular Woolly Worsted in Sapphire. So look at how that silver and the charcoal just adds like such a pretty shine on the, I mean, geez, they look like silk, don't they? They're not, <laughs> they're not. And then there's also the aqua in the Heather's Heather's, which um, that is also a gem of a color. I knit a sweater in this one. Um, so this is the original aqua, and that is the heathered aqua. Both gorgeous. Yes. Oh, you love the color matches. Thank you. I'm a purple gal, but I love the red velvet. Yes. The red velvet is such a gorgeous color. My husband always tells me whenever he's helping me, he's like, this is the best color you've ever made. I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so the, I made this in the heathered aqua so this is the cat lady crop super cute little sweater um and then i used the regular woolly worsted cotton candy so it was this combo and i really love how that came out and this is a fun one you know this always looks great i've seen it done with like if you want to go um, more toward like real, real leopard print, um, you know, you can do the heathers with the heathered saffron. So that's this color with this color. So I don't know. The color combos are endless. I think, I think like a purple, I have a kit up with the purples in the cat lady crop, which great sweater. Oh my God. You have also made me a purple believer. My mom is the purple lover in the fan. Uh-oh. Well, 
purple. I do love purple. And I have, yeah, look, I mean, I have been into purple lately. I don't know what happened. Um, okay. And then the other sweater I thought we could talk about, which is a lot of fun, is the love note. Uh, this is not one of our patterns. This is by, the pattern is by Tin Can Knits. And I used a hand dyed mohair mixed with my cotton candy fluffy fingering. So this is a good time. Like if you have had this laying around and you know you have like your mohair, now is the good time to figure out what you want to pair, what colors we could pair with it. And you can post a photo in the community and I can get back to you. Like I said, you know, it gives us a little bit of time to think about things. So anyway, <laughs> woo, my desk is <laughs> a wild ride over here now. Um, uh, we also have this awesome color. This is the wheat. One of my test knitters knit this sweater with the wheat and then she used like a um, I think a dark red hand dye, hand spun that she had made, or maybe it was blue. I don't know. Anyway, this is such a cool, like natural earthy color. This is the wheat in the heathers, which you could pair. Oh, that pair really well with the chocolate. Sorry about all that dog hair. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, or with the forest. I mean, that looks good. We haven't even dragged out any orange. Wow. Oh, the teal. Yes, I love teal. So anyway, I, for my knit along sweater, I am going to make this. Because I've already made this. <laughs> but I think I am going to make mine in the aqua because don't have I don't have a solid I don't have a solid sweater in aqua so now it's a matter of what is my pop color going to be that looks a little light oh I like that I was actually thinking the soft sage might be pretty that's a cheerful sweater anyway I could do this all day, <laughs> but, and that is exactly my point. I could do this all day. And so if you have any questions, um, now is the time to ask them. I put in the chat, uh, the link to the question in the community. So you can go in there and post a comment. And if you use the app, we have an app called Mighty Networks. And if you use the app to log into the community, it's easy to upload a photo from your phone. So you can just pop in there. You know, you can take a quick shot of the yarn you already have or the color you want to pair with. And then we can talk back and forth. Or you can always email me or message me. But I thought if we do it in the community, it would be a lot of fun because we all have ideas and maybe other people will come up with combos that I don't think of, or um, maybe somebody's already knit it in a combo that you want to see. So super fun when we all get together and like have these ideas. So um, that is what is up. Um, let's see, I got some more comments. What is the pattern name for the sweater you're wearing? I think I missed you saying that. Okay, this is called the Pop Your Color Pullover. It's not out yet. It comes out next week. Has a nice little accent here of color and then another at the cuff. So you could do the pullover or the cardigan. I just got this one off the needles yesterday. So I am about halfway through weaving in those ends. <laughs> And it comes, you know, you can make it in a variety of colors and it looks great in everything. So pop your color cardigan, pop your color pullover. And then um, 
So they'll be out next week. So if you're on my email list, you will definitely get notified. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully Monday, we'll see. Maybe it'll have to be Tuesday. I don't know. But otherwise, all the yarns, all the UU regular yarns are on sale starting on uh, Black Friday. So if you're looking to make some quick bulky projects or you want to make a different, like yesterday I had my um, pop top cardigan on. And then there's also the fluffy fingering. Such a great yarn. Comes in so many pretty colors. Everything's in stock. So whatever you need. <clears throat> Everything in the fluffy fingering. And then, yeah. We are getting light on a couple of colors of bulky and wooly. But they are on their way. Um... So anyway, now is the time to plan. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I'm going to drop the link to the community in there again. It's a free community to join. And we hang out in there and talk knitting. This week we had a fun just conversation about temperature blankets. And a bunch of people showed off their temperature blankets. And we have got some questions about some new ones. So that's a whole other topic of conversation. Oh, Trish, thanks and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you. Yes, I am looking forward to it. Like I said, <laughs> I want to relax. So <laughs> let's get the ideas out now. Lisa, nice to see you. Thanks, Heather. Have a great Thanksgiving. Yes, you too, everybody. I hope you have some fun and get to eat a little extra food that you don't normally eat. <laughs> That's what I like to do. <laughs> have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you, Kareen. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in Club Yu Yu. So take care. Bye, Marley. Thank you. Save me some leftovers. <laughs> Gobble till you wobble. There you go. <laughs> I think on that note, that is good. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you.